see you there. My name is Alex Nessian. Have you always wanted to tape whatever you're doing in your car? Or every time you take it to track and you want to see how well you did? Well, I'm going to show you an easy and quick way to do it with spending a little money. Well, first thing you got to do, you got to get yourself a tripod. I acquired th this iPod from um, Future Shop here in Canada. I don't know where, exactly where you can get it in the States, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. It has a nice level to see whenever you're level. And another level over here. But as you can see right now, it's a little too big for the car, so you have to uh, make it smaller. I am not going to show you how to do it, because I'm pretty sure you can figure it out yourself. Alright, and once your tripod's been minimized, you walk towards your car, like, open your door, and go to the back seat. Here, in, in the back seat of your car, you should have, um, unless you uh, modify your car already, you should have two seat belts, the right and the left one. What you're going to do, you're going to place your tripod with one of the legs pointing towards the front of the car. And then, just quick and easy, you're going to cross your seat belts. Like so. Believe it or not, this is really stable. I didn't believe it at first. But then, you gotta tighten it up, make sure she's nice and tight. There you go. And now, you gotta set this uh, handle pointing towards the front. And you gotta adjust it, do all the goodies that you gotta do. There you go. Quick and easy, you can adjust it however you like, left to right, or height. And probably you're gonna have to zoom a little bit with your camera whenever you're using it. If you have if you have a crappy camera like myself or a low quality tripod, you might have to put a few dampeners in there so she doesn't rattle meanwhile you're driving. Oh, these are a little too big. You can use either paper or tape. I just use paper for the time being right now. And as you can see, it just sits in there. Or if you like, like I was saying, you can also use tape and just put a little bit of tape so the bottom it's a little thicker. So she doesn't wobble whenever you're using the camera. Anyways, so now you got your um, camera mounting piece and you're, you're going to attach it to your camera. Like so. You can't see it because this is the only camera I have. Uh, let's see. And there. Then you got your camera pointing towards the driver, of course. Release the lock there. And make sure you have it on so you can adjust it a little bit, adjust the height, adjust the angle, whatever you got to do, right? And you might want to tighten it a little bit so she doesn't move. Zoom in. And there you go. I am going to go and sit in the driver's seat so you guys can see how it looks and we're going to go for a ride. And as you can see, the camera is fairly stable. See? I'm turning a little, and it's still stable. She won't move. 
unless, I don't know, I haven't taken this car up to the extreme, so I can't say exactly how she, she's going to behave. School zone. Also, as you can notice, the roads are very, very bump bumpy. But also, the camera's still stable. Well, this is all for now. Let's go have some fun. That's all for now. That was Alex and SCN for the Alex and SCN channel.